here at Red Bud hanging out in the PC semi. For those of you that don't know, Red Bud is like the, the party capital of the Pro Motocross Nationals. There's this thing called Lot B. I've never been there before. I've only heard stories. It's basically where everybody camps out, everybody stays the night, tonight, parties, watches the Pro Motocross race tomorrow, and then parties again. So we're going to check that out. Maybe talk to a few riders and stuff like that. I'll give you a little behind the scenes here at Red Bud. I'm going to be doing some uh, commentating tomorrow. So I'm just going to kind of wing it. Hopefully get some good footage and throw it together for you guys, a little behind the scenes look. It's my goal to just give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of what goes on. I can get by the bus. Oh yes, not my bike. I'm used to this is my This is always where my bike's at. And now it's not. What's up with that? We can throw like a little blink right here. A little blink 182, what do you think? Everybody say hi. These guys that make these are the guys that make pro motocross go around. Do they have a handler? No. Did you actually showed up at the right, <clears throat> the right time. Like I actually got a yeah, I got a ride with Alex on the way here. Well, I know because we no rental car. Right I don't even know where I'm staying yet. I may stay with you. Yeah. Okay. Jason White again, everybody. Yeah, right How you want to do Step into the light. I gotta. Yeah. You gotta get my kit. It? All right. So. You want me to get you? Yeah. yeah. Wow. This might be the first of many. We'll call this a. No. Yeah, I'm serious, bro. You really this seem is, like you I have feel what it like takes. I pull the fanny pack off. I know. Yeah, you. Forward it's slash, time for some trail riding. Forward Let's get the whole thing here. Waist hey, trainer. Hey, we get the team shirt on tomorrow. So I guess we're gonna go out there. We're gonna scope the track. I'm gonna practice. I got these earbuds. They're borrowed. Very expensive. So this is to talk to the. This is to talk to the production. AKA, I see something. Let me speak. I need Instagram followers. Please, please put me on TV. <laughs> All right, so this is where the this is where the magic happens. He might not get the I'm dog. back. Did you guys miss me? This is where the magic happens, right, huh, boys? Finally, Hannah. We finally got Hannah yeah, back in our room. Hannah's and back. We're, we're rehearsing. Yes, we're you rehearsing. have read it since you were last here, I swear. No. No. Listen. I, yeah, go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. I, I, say, I say paddock. I say you call it. Yeah, it's called the paddock. It well, sounds the key way is, better. I think the tents are the mechanics area. Yes. That is the mechanics area. That is not the pits. Don't you think? And during the race, I say we call it, let's throw a blanket over it. I say it's a paddock. I mean, to each their own, tomato, tomato, but paddock sounds sweet. <laughs> I'm down with it. If you want to call where the mechanics work, they're, sorry, the mechanics use their pit boards yeah. as the pits and that's where the, the trucks are as the that's paddock. That's the mechanics I'm fine with area, But man. I think of it as a mechanics area. I agree. I agree. It's I think mechanics. of it as a mechanics area. Confused between He's tradition. saying it's an American You're thing. You're confused between traditional stuff and American stuff. Okay. You're let like me, a kid that's in between. The problem is we have two foreigners that do this show. So the mechanic, to me, the mechanic, my mechanic gives me the pit board in the mechanics area. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, I I get done with the moto and I pick them up and we ride and back ride to back the pits. You never say paddock. Pits, mechanics area. I, that's oh, what so I. So you say you don't want paddock. I'm saying if we need if we like as far as like a production standpoint, paddock sounds sweet. Will I ever call it the paddock in a yeah. non-formal setting? Well, that comes no. back from the old traditional like English paddock horse sounds racing. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was just paddock. at MotoGP last week too. And oh, it's that's like, a paddock. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's a damn near like hotel oh, complex. It's a, it's a. See, I think pits, <laughs> and I think like I think like I'm I'm signing up for a racer X. Pass. People don't ask for a paddock pass. They, I'm impressed. Yeah, but you can do that. Yeah, yes. but you do that. Ask for a pit pass, and they expect to see what I'm, I'm, I've left this conversation more confused and more I know, educated. I know, I know, I know. I know. Nice try, Will. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we hey, found hey, Brandon Will, during Will, rehearsal. Ask him, ask him. We want to know: Is the fireball chilled or not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So just finished up some rehearsal for for TV with GL and uh, Jason and Will, everybody showing me all the ropes, getting ready for tomorrow. Now, I'm gonna head over to Lot B here in a minute, show you guys what goes down there. Just having fun. Hey Brandon, you crushed it on TV, dude. You know, I, I try In the my rehearsal, best. I mean. I try my best. I'm not a TV guy, but you know, I do what I, I, do what I can. We're not, they're not all, you, you know, they're not all first round picks. That's right. <laughs> Packing up the truck. Hey, let's keep the cuss words to a minimum for the vlog, please. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's terrible. Terrible language. I actually, I don't think you used one, but we're gonna we're gonna say we're gonna keep it low. All right. Did he say? All right. Shout out to my trainer, Peter Park. I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you some foundation training right now. All right. So you're pushing this thing in. We're pushing this thing in the right. I need you to really sink into this hip right here. Don't round your back. Keep your back nice and flat. Nope. No. No. That's too no, much. You're in hyperextension. All right. Right there. You're gonna chest up. 
chest up and you're gonna get you're really gonna want to drive from that left glute. Oh! Good form, Walter. Oh, <laughs> How are we feeling for tomorrow, Jake? Good. Ready to ride some dirt bikes and uh, ready for the first probably experience. Top, probably top three. Oh dude, I'm, I'm going for Tomac. Right on. Right on. I love that. I love that. <laughs> this is a live look at the lot B line from the pro pit to get in. Say hi everybody. Hey, Keith. <laughs> yep. It's recording. Yep. Hey, we got, we got paint up in here. Hey, this is your hometown, dude. This is my spot. This is my place. These are my locals right here. What are we doing right now? This is America if I've ever seen it right here. This is motocross fans. Passionate. I love it. Hey, I love this, dude. So sick. It's fucking awesome, dude. I'm glad you guys come out. Hey, have yeah. a good time. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for showing us the bus. So where'd you get your fanny pack? I got my fanny pack from uh, the Dollar General. From me! Dollar General? Yes. Dollar Is there anybody you'd like to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank my brother. He's right here. Thank you. Yeah, the red You're welcome. His name is Chevy, red like the trucks. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Chevy. Like James Stewart, like 0304? Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Cool, yeah. man. Well, shout out to your fanny pack. I hope you have a great time thank this you. weekend. Stay you safe, too. brother. Hey, you too, bro. Yeah, yeah boy. Yeah, so yeah, you guys are a thing now? Yeah, we're a thing. We're I guess so. Other. I guess and, so. Uh, Everything's going fantastic. My hand on her makes her weird. But she's crazy, right? No, yeah, it's not. Nice. It's nuts. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that rascal. All right. Have fun, buddy. Have fun. Have fun. Wait, so what? Sorry, boy. Here, bro, right this What? There's no way to do this. It's red blood, man. It's crazy. Hey, what's your name? Nick Drew. Bald Eagle. And you're totally, I just want to make sure you're totally okay with me actually putting you on the block, right? 100%. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, listen, you can't try to, you can't try to take my, my like, your thunder? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm still amateur. He's got the GoPro. I got the iPhone, but. Yeah. Let's call it truce. Would you like to take anybody? No, I'm not doing it. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Oh, <laughs> so that means you were born in 1999? 2000. Oh, for real? Today's my birthday. Yeah, 2000. Happy birthday, man. Hey, is hey, is that you, Carson Wentz? Hey, shout out to... Hey, shout out Carson Wentz, am I right? Oh, hey, win tomorrow, dude. Hey, dude, I'm not riding, though. What? I'm, I'm not riding. I'm commentating. You're commentating? Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, you're my boy. Yeah, bro. You're my boy. All right, all right. Yeah.
Alright guys, it's Saturday about about 9.30. I'm about to go live on the air with NBC Sports for do a little practice reporting. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit nervous, a little bit more nervous than I would be even going out for practice. <laughs> first moto guys yeah a uh, brilliant first moto it all worked out for the monster pro circuit kawasaki team we just wanted to put him through as much ptsd yeah. live on the air as we could yeah. what's happening Gio? oh man what's going on i feel for you you might want to not go back to your truck if that were you just stay away for a little while ah uh, motocross is a tough sport i tell you what yeah yeah some type of intro going on here who knows i got some in my ear can't hear anything Alright, we're hanging out in the media tent, aka the only place with Wi-Fi. Just finished up um, doing some reporting on the sidelines. As of right now, I got my, my fantasy pick set. Uh, 450 first moto is about to start. I'm about to go in the booth and try not to blow it live on national television. And that's where we're at. Incredible charges in the back to salvage good finishes. And then we go into Moto2. They're now in position to potentially win the overall. Moose Gang gets the only lead, almost lands on Ken Roxon. They had a great battle. Roxon comes right back on Marvin after this action to retake the lead. Yeah, I don't think he appreciated that cross jump from Marvin, even though I don't think it was intentional. But Tomac would go down in that corner we just saw. So his bad day just keeps getting worse. All right, one, two, three. Red Man, what a day. First time I was able to get in the booth with uh, Grant Langston, Jason Wygant. Thanks to those guys for letting me come in and uh, for NBC and Map TV for letting me be a part of it. Uh, watching outdoor races for years and years and years, obviously growing up with it and then actually getting a chance to go behind the scenes and really get in there and, and help call the race and as well as do some sideline reporting uh, in the morning in practice. Man, it was so much fun and it's scary in there. Like, I, you sit and you watch the race at home or whatever with your buddies, and you're like, man, that, that's that got to be the best, jo easiest job in the world. And you go in the booth, and it's really not. There's people talking in your ear, and, um, I mean, the job that, that Jason does kind of coordinating the whole show is absolutely crazy, and, and Grant as well. Um, so those guys, I give those guys a crazy amount of credit. It's so much fun, and it's definitely harder than it looks, so... I had a good time, and uh, yeah, so now I'm just going to go back, get on a flight tomorrow, take my flight boards at 6, and then get back at it. I don't know how much footage I got. I imagine this vlog will be pretty short. I don't think I got too much, but hope you guys enjoyed uh, my behind-the-scenes look at Red Bud, and uh, talk to you guys soon. Peace.